Hi there, my name is Tigo and in this video I'm going to show you one of Amsterdam's oldest canals, the Single. Not to be confused with the Single Canal, which is called the Single Canal. This one is just called the Single. Enjoy! I will highlight a few of the most prominent buildings and give you a little bit of info on them. I will not go inside all the churches and stuff or who knows if there is a church. Oh and in case you're wondering, this video is also enjoyable if you're in a relationship. You don't necessarily have to be single. <laughs> first things first, here's the map of Amsterdam. If everything goes right and if my editing skills are up to the test, the map is now on the screen. As you can see, it looks a bit like an onion. The city, I mean, these are then the canals. I think they're around here. And today we're going to take a look at this canal, which starts right here in the north and we're going to go down to the south. The first part of the single was dug around 1428. The remaining part was done in 1450. In those times, the single was called the Stedegracht or City Canal. From 1481 came a stone wall which replaced the previous wall made of earth. This canal was the edge of Amsterdam until the city expanded in 1585. We start off in the north with Central Station just around the corner over there. I was having a cup of coffee over here because I was waiting for the rain to stop. My camera is not waterproof so it was a dilemma. Well, not really. I just decided to have a cup of coffee and uh, wait. From the first floor there's also a pretty sight over the single canal. Single number 7 is supposedly the narrowest house in the world. In the olden times the price of the house was determined by the width of the house. That's why many of the old houses were quite narrow and built in the height. Here we have a round Lutheran church built around 1670. Since 1935 the building served as a concert hall and from 1975 it's being used by a hotel for big gatherings. At the other side of the canal is a cat boat or poezen boat. This animal sanctuary has been floating in Amsterdam's canal belt since 1968. This old ferry house, the Swan, dates back to 1652, named after the first owner, Nicholas Swan, or Swan in Dutch. It's almost the same, a little bit different. He bought two houses and gave it its name. The monumental building is currently used as a hotel under the name Hotel de Craftsman, not sponsored. For more information about the history of this building, check out their website.
Here we have the number 7 bridge of Amsterdam's top 10 bridges. Check out that video for more information about this bridge and other bridges of Amsterdam. The most famous person who ever lived at this building at single 140-142 was Frans Banning, who is the main figure in Rembrandt's most famous painting, The Night Watch. The building is built around 1600 and is called The Dolphin. This building comes from around 1699, built in an early style of Louis XIV. On top of the building is a bowl with stars which can best be seen across the canal or from the nearby bridge. The original bowl was made of copper and was taken down by the owner because he could use the money at the time. He melted it down by the way, so makes sense right? After a restoration in 1999, it was decided to place a replica of the bowl at the exact same spot. Over there is the Spuy Square, and I guess Spuy is a difficult word for you to pronounce, probably, unless you're Dutch. Spuy. The Spuy was originally a body of water and was filled in 1882, and since then it's the Spuy as we know it today. Spuy. There's also a nice proverb in Dutch which is um, dat loopt de Spuy gaten uit. Dat loopt de Spuy gaten uit. De Spuy gaten. And if you guys want to know the translation, just comment below. I think no one will. <laughs> Next to it is a old Lutheran church, which was built in 1632-1633. Due to the decline of regular church attendance, I mean less and less people go to the church, the church is being rented out to the University of Amsterdam since 1961. <laughs> This is an old armory building which became the base for the East Indian Company. Later it served as the Royal Stables. The frontage is designed by one of Holland's most famous architects, Hendrik de Keijzer. Now the building hosts the Amsterdam University Library with over 40 kilometers of books and other objects. I just want to say I didn't measure it all. It's just an estimation which I found somewhere over the rainbow. So 
Breitberg Church is a Roman Catholic church which was opened in 1883. This church replaced a previous church called Kreitberg with a C, which stood here since 1654. Space limitations urged the architect to design an unusually tall church with a monumental front. A few meters further is the single church, which is a so-called hidden church, which means that it's not recognizable as a church from the outside. The building dates back to 1639, and just like the Kreitberg church, it's still used as a church. Just don't care. Odeon was designed as a brewery in 1662. In 1830, one of Amsterdam's first concert halls was added. Today, the building hosts a club slash restaurant. Would you like to go? In the 17th century, the single was temporarily called the King's Canal to honor the French King Henry VI, an important ally of the Republic of the Seven United Netherlands. But later it was changed back to the single again. This square that lies over the single is a reminder of this, as it's still called the King's Square, or Koningsplein. Would you like to go? This is a little torture museum which is popular amongst tourists. I remember visiting this place once, but it was quite boring to be honest. The last part of the single hosts the only floating flower market of the world. Floating flower market! With all those floating flowers! Since 1862, the flower stalls stand on the houseboats and evoke the old days when the market was daily supplied by boat. Nowadays, the market mainly consists of dried tulip bulbs to take home and grow yourselves. The mint tower or munt tower in Dutch, which can also translate to coin, but I guess it's mint. I always call it a coin tower, but found out that other people call it the mint tower in English. In Dutch it's the same word, so quite confusing. So anyways, this tower stands on Munt Square, where the single and the Amstel River meet. In medieval times, the tower was part of a gate which consisted of two towers and a guardhouse. It served as an entrance to the city. After a fire in 1618, only a guardhouse and one of the two towers remained. In 1620, it was rebuilt in the Renaissance style. And by the way, while I'm recording this, this reminds me of Lord of the Rings, the two towers. And I don't want to spoil, so if you didn't see that yet, skip this part. But in that movie, both of the towers were destroyed. And that's it, the end of the single canal. I'm sure it was a lot of information, but you might remember a thing or two. And that's what I'm doing it for. Because next time when you're here in Amsterdam, you're gonna walk around, you see a nice bridge, you see a kangaroo hopping around, and you think like, hey, wait a second, that guy, that one guy from YouTube, he, he told me about this kangaroo. He told me about this flower market. I can't get any fresh flowers over there. Well, maybe you can, but not so much. I still don't have any lighting, I mean camera lights, so I'm sitting here in the sun. It's quite hot actually. What do you do? Yeah, there's really... I look a bit like Two-Face, like the Batman. It's pretty late. I think I'm going to Batman. Another sip. <sighs> Marty!
We gotta go back to the future. If you want to see more videos of Amsterdam, here they are. Amsterdam on punk, Amsterdam in the rain. Enjoy. Enjoy.